The UN nuclear watchdog decried Iran's decision to bar several inspectors as extreme and unjustified. It said these directly and seriously affected the agency's work, marking a new law in relations between the two sides. Iran in September withdrew the accreditation of several inspectors of the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA. The measure is the latest to raise tensions as a 2015 deal curbing Tehran's nuclear program in exchange for sanction relief has fallen apart. The IAEA has condemned the move, which targets eight top inspectors, with French and German nationals among them. In the report, the IAEA said it received a letter from Iran on Wednesday, reiterating its position that it is within its right to withdraw the accreditation. The letter added that Iran was exploring possibilities to address the request of the agency to reinstate it. IAEA head Rafael Grossi expressed hope that the matter will be resolved promptly. It's a very serious blow to our capacity to do that. We, of course, continue. Of course, we continue. Uh, but uh, they have targeted uh, inspectors who have a lot of experience, in particular in enrichment and in other capacities. It takes a, it takes a long time to um, uh, prepare inspectors, to have them with the necessary amount of experience and, and skills and ability to, uh, to perform their, their, their work. It has constituted, uh, a, um, as I said, a very negative um, development and a very serious blow to our ability to, to do our job to the best uh, possible uh, level. Um, yeah, it has. But we continue and we uh, hope to be able to uh, reverse this decision as you perhaps know. As part of its steps since the U.S. withdrew from the deal, Iran deactivated surveillance devices needed by the IAEA to monitor the country's nuclear program.